Hey there! Today I'm diving into some exciting research by Dr. Neva about how DEI, or diversity, equity, and inclusion, is shaking up New York's male-dominated sectors. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the industries impacted. Construction, manufacturing, finance, and technology. These are the big players that have traditionally been dominated by men. Did you know that in construction, 90% of the workforce is male, and women and minorities hold just 3% of top positions? Shocking, right? Manufacturing isn't much better. They have less than 6% women and minority leaders. And tech? Women and minorities make up less than 25% of the total workforce. But there's good news. New York State has ambitious DEI initiatives to change this. Governor Kathy Hochul has raised the MWBE utilization rate to 30% for state contracts. That's one of the highest in the country. As of 2023, about 31% of all state contracts have been awarded to certified MWBEs. In male-dominated industries like construction, prime and subcontractor opportunities for MWBEs increased to 22% in 2022, up from 18% in 2019. Even the finance sector is stepping up, with MWBEs representing 12% of contract opportunities in 2022. So are prime contractors held accountable? Yes and no. New York State has strict penalties for those who don't meet DI goals, including fines and contract cancellations. However, enforcement is inconsistent. Often, prime contractors meet the bare minimum by outsourcing small tasks to MWBEs while keeping the most profitable work for established companies. Accountability is still a challenge. Let's take a look at regional DEI performance. New York City is leading the pack with over 36% of contracts going to women and minority-owned businesses, especially in construction and professional services. Albany is also making strides with 28% of contracts awarded to NWBEs, particularly in technology and public infrastructure. But not all regions are doing well. Western New York, including Buffalo and Rochester, only awards 15-18% to of contracts to NWBEs. Long Island also struggles with many women and minority business owners facing difficulties accessing contracts due to poor local enforcement and uncooperative prime contractors. So, are we moving in the right direction? Absolutely, but there's still work to be done. Women and minority-owned businesses are gaining opportunities, but systemic challenges remain, especially in male-dominated sectors. Prime contractors need to be more accountable, and enforcement of DEI goals should be more robust, especially in underserved regions like Western New York and Long Island. To truly move the needle, it will take policy enforcement, contractor accountability, and continued advocacy. We need to ensure that DEI benefits reach every corner of New York's economy. Thanks for tuning in, and let's keep pushing for meaningful change.